It's okay, this building is beautiful anyway. Here we are. Isn't this a beautiful building? Look, my, 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 my boots goes all the way in. Whoa. Forecast says it's gonna snow again in about three hours from now. I believe it. We had blue skies for literally 30 minutes yesterday and it after that there was a storm. Hello everybody, greetings from Sapporo in Hokkaido. This is the last stop on my Hokkaido journey this year. Uh, we're standing at the crossroads of the shopping district called Susukino in uh, Sapporo. All the department stores are here, like Parko, Mitsukoshi department store. There's a local department store called uh, Marui Imai, which is somewhere around here. And down there is the uh, one of the entertainment dis districts. Hello, everybody. So you know, uh, this is actually my third day in Sapporo. Actually, my second full day. And uh, the first day, it was just so busy and I was exhausted. Yesterday, I just uh, kind of uh, explored the city on my own. And it also, it was very uh, snowy and blizzardy. So it was a bit too dangerous to film. Um, you're going to notice that most of the time, I'm going to be pointing the camera towards the front. Uh, that way, I can focus on just walking and not slipping. All right. So we've crossed the street. This is Mitsukoshi department store. Uh, not open yet. They open at uh, 10, 10 a.m. I think. Okay. And that's that's a streetcar. That's uh, one of the main modes of transportation in Sapporo. And it goes around a loop, kind of like the Yamanote line. They also have a, a subway system here as well. And of course, buses. So. Yeah, it's a very convenient city, easy to get around. And now we're going to start walking. So my hotel is actually just um, a three minute walk away from right here. So located in a very convenient place. Sorry about that. So located in a very convenient place. And I'm glad, I'm glad I chose that hotel. The only problem with that hotel is that it's very hot and it doesn't seem like I can control the temperature. I try controlling the temperature. Emporial Armani, this is actually a very nice coat. Uh, yeah, um, you can't control the, the temperature, so it's very hot. But the good thing is that you can open the window and then it's kind of perfect. I'm, I decided to make a video today because I can finally walk. <laughs> I've been having a um, terrifying time trying to walk around the city because it's so slippery and I did fall once. So I now have this fear of walking around the city. However, today it's not too bad. As you can see, the weather is beautiful. It's going to start snowing again tomorrow. So I thought, you know, why not? I've gotten a little bit used to walking around. I, I know how not to fall, I think. And uh, as long as uh, I don't look around too much and I focus on where I'm walking. Like right here, it's very slippery right here. Uh, I'll, I should be fine. And I, and I really wanted to make a video here in Sapporo. At first, I didn't think I was able to. So I'm glad. I'm glad that I can do this. Okay. I did walk around a little bit yesterday. So I, I kind of know where everything is. Things that I want to show you guys. You can see that it's a pretty modern city. First thing I'm going to show you is that. That's the Sapporo Tower. So you can see it's 9.47 a.m. And that's why Mitsukoshi was closed. So we're going to walk towards there first. 
I don't know why. Maybe it's the snow. Maybe it's the grid pattern of uh, Sapporo. Kind of gives, gives me like New York vibes. Just a little bit. I think I said that on, a, on my previous video, but it kind of does. For some reason, I'm very... Ooh, almost... See, that was very slippery right there. I don't know why. It's very slippery in the middle of the road. Okay, let's cross here. Now, I never run here in Sapporo because I'm scared to fall. So I'll just take my whole sweet time. So right now we are at a park. Actually, this uh, park, um, I think it's called Odori Park, but um, it extends all the way down there through the length of uh, the city. Maybe not the total length, but that also kind of reminds me of Central Park. A narrow Central Park, a smaller version of course. And a lot, of, a lot of families are out playing in the snow. So that's kind of fun. Here it is, this is the local department store called Marui Imai. I checked it out yesterday. Yeah, it's your typical department store like Mitsukoshi get all this snow it's nice when there's not a blizzard <laughs> then you can see in front of you we had really inclement weather the past three days in Sapporo that's the Sapporo tower you can actually go up there there's a fee to go up there but I don't think I'm going to do that this time maybe next time and the snow is pretty deep here. It's been snowing like pretty much every single day uh, since we visited Hokkaido. So it's kind of nice to have this break, you know? Look at all this snow. Look, if you step in here, look, my, 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 my boots goes all the way in. Whoa. I don't know why I'm purposely doing that. Yeah, you see the family maybe making a snowman or something. Whoa. Okay. Hokkaido is pretty, uh, not Hokkaido, Sapporo is a pretty uh, easy city to navigate. I said it's in a grid grid uh, pattern grid design hello that way once again is the uh, shopping as well as the entertainment district okay let's walk let's walk across the street here so basically be but behind me is the shopping and entertainment district and then we are going to be walking through the business district and then finally we'll get to Sapporo station so everything is neatly arranged you got the station you got the business district where there are a few historical landmarks and then you got the shopping slash entertainment district and then you have the mountain where you can go and catch a gondola up the mountain and look at the view from up there actually I might do that today I might do that later on. It's been a while since I did these walkabout videos, huh? Yeah. It was uh it was kind of difficult to do these walkabout videos in the other cities because I was so not familiar with them. Once again, slippery crossing the street. So, just focusing on my steps right now. So I think you can you can see 
first of all, it's very windy. Sorry about that. We're in the middle of the business district now. It's very, it's very business-like, and this area reminds me of New York in a way. But here we have something very interesting. Interesting is the wrong word, actually. It's one of the major landmarks here. People come here to check this building out. Ah, see, my scent. Cars waiting for me to cross. Right here, guys. This is the Sapporo Clock Tower. And let me go to the, let me look for the sign that explains what this is. But this is one of the, the preserved buildings in the city. Do you see the red stars up there? Yeah. Doesn't that remind you of Sapporo beer? Oh. Ooh, snow is flying towards me from the tree. Here we are. Isn't this a beautiful building? I love it. I really do. You can go inside for a small admission fee. Yeah. It's 200 yen to go inside, by the way. So this is the famous Sapporo Clock Tower. Clock Tower. Love it. Yeah, it's 200 yen per person. And here, here's a map of uh, Sapporo City. You can see how it's in a grid design. So it's very easy to navigate. We're here right now. Uh, this is Sapporo Station and Entertainment District here. We're in this area right now. Yeah, so it's pretty easy. Next time I do want to explore more of the surrounding area. I think that is the Sapporo Beer Factory up there. And I would like to visit there this time. Let's see, I have some time. Uh, let's see now. Which way do I go? Uh-oh. I'm just a little bit lost. Uh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, let's go this way. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Right. I want to tell you a little bit about this clock tower. Okay, so this was built in 1870s. No, no. 1878. And it's in the style of wooden architecture used in frontier lands of the United States in those days. And the large clock up there was manufactured in the U.S. And it still operates to this day. Yeah. It was originally built as a drill hall for the Sapporo Agricultural College. Yeah. Historically, it's like, oh, interesting for me. I mean, the story behind it, but I'm just happy that they, they left the building and the, the building's still there. Oh, it's pretty windy now. So yeah, like like this area here. I don't know why, it reminds me of New York. It does. It's probably the design and all the snow maybe. It seems like more than half the time I visited New York, it was during the winter, so yeah. Uh, cold weather is synonymous to New York for me. Alright, so we are going to cross the street here to visit one more historical building and then we will walk to the station which isn't too far and by the way, I'll take you guys later. You see how we're walking above ground, right? Did you know that you can get from where we started the video all the way to the train station underground? It's connected underground. 
Yeah, Hokkaido has a vast network of underground pathways with malls, like shopping malls and restaurants and facilities, all underground. That way you can avoid the cold if you want. Isn't that interesting? Oh my gosh, it's so much easier to walk around today. This makes me really happy. I seriously didn't think I was going to be able to film anything in Sapporo for you guys. Yeah, because the weather was just so, so intense. By the way, this is one of the grandest hotel in Sapporo, from what I hear. It's a Sapporo Grand Hotel. I guess this would be equal to the the Imperial Palace Hotel in Tokyo. It's one of the older hotels in Sapporo. But, but it's where all the important people stay, I guess. Oh, okay, let's cross here. Let's cross this treacherous road. I don't know how people can run in this weather. They must have special shoes or something. I myself am wearing shoes that are meant for snow and rain. Uh, yeah, I just keep going straight. I was gonna cross, but it was the tr the the light was about to turn red. I didn't want to run. So. Oh yeah, because this is a major city, a lot of Starbucks as well. Not as many as Tokyo. But, you know, there are a lot of nice cafes here anyway, so you don't really need to go to Starbucks, do you? This is the entrance to Sapporo Grand Hotel. Yeah, looks pretty grand, doesn't it? By the way, <laughs> I go back to, uh, after I go back to Ho Tokyo, uh, I spend New Year's Eve and New Year's Day with Satoshi. Satoshi goes back to Yamagata, his hometown, on the first morning. And then I'll have about three days to chill at home. I get to do a lot of editing anyway. And then I think on the third or the fourth, I'm taking the Shinkansen to Sendai. Because you know why, right? You guys know why. Okay. Please forgive me if I don't talk much. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh, why is it so slippery crossing the street? You know what it is? There's ice below the snow. So you can't really see the ice. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, this way. it's easier to walk today just don't step on these areas that's all ice there so I've been you know looking at the ground while I'm walking that's what I did all day yesterday the problem with that is because it gave me a neck ache <laughs> when I came back my, my, my neck was kind of it felt stiff and I, I, I don't really get to look around like I usually do. When I do, I have to do this. I have to kind of like stop and then look around. Yeah, and then my eyes go to the ground again, like this. If I want to look at something, I kind of stop and I do this. So, That's, that's what I've been doing all day yesterday. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Am I in the wrong place? Oh no. Oh no, yeah, I am in the right place. 
Wait. No, I'm not in the right place. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Where am I? Okay, that's a really beautiful hotel. Not a hotel, it's a building. But that's not where I want to go. But might as well show you that, that building. Actually, this is where I want to go. Oh my gosh, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? It's just a different entrance. So here's another beautiful building. I believe this was the former government office of Hokkaido, uh, of, of Sapporo, I think. And I think here is a lake. It's frozen over right now and you can't enter. See? See, um, this is the map of the area. During the springtime, it's supposed to be very beautiful with flowers, but you see there's, that's a lake area. But you don't really see the lakes because they're covered with snow and ice right now. Completely frozen. I think this is where I was yesterday. I think so. That's okay. It's okay. This building is beautiful anyway. Yeah, I think this is it. The, the former government building. Uh, you can see a little bit of the lake. Yeah, it's not completely frozen. Here, let's, let's look at the lake. You see? You guys see? So Sapporo, the city itself, doesn't have many like attractions, quote unquote attractions for tourists. Like like this would be it. it, it it's all about visiting these historical buildings and the food, I think. That's Hokkaido for you. I mean Sapporo, sorry, I keep saying Hokkaido. Sapporo. Ah, it's a beautiful building. And on top of this building, you see that star as well, that red star. Again, the same star on the Sapporo label. I'm assuming that's the same star. This garden area is really nice too. You see how this whole area is surrounded by business buildings, well buildings. <laughs> Another reason why it's reminding me of New York. is the former government building. I love it. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, yesterday, uh, you know, I was walking around taking footage of things without talking, without vlogging. Yesterday, another place I went to was this place called the Sapporo Factory. Unfortunately, the Sapporo Factory itself was closed to the public. Um, it's going under renovations. But the building itself was beautiful. Uh, it, uh, uh, next to it was a mall with this beautiful atrium. Uh, they had a food court there. Uh, it's just a mall though, but right next to it was a, it was a small park charming park with this uh, house again this old house 
uh, two houses actually and yeah I really enjoyed uh, stumbling upon that area because that's something that's not in the, the, the guidebooks let's say a little bit about this place just want to make sure yeah the former Hokkaido government office building yeah it was constructed in 1888 as a base for the administration of Hokkaido that's the building ah. We're gonna walk out. We're gonna to walk towards the station. Let's see if I know where the station is. Um, yeah, okay, it's this way. <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm right. I, I think. I'm not sure anymore. Ah, but maybe we'll cross the street here. If I can cross. Yes. This is kind of a nice area. I see some uh, string lights on the tree. Yeah, maybe I'll come back here later on at night. Looks kind of nice. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the other thing I did yesterday, I walked around, uh, um, what's it called? Ta I think it's called Tanuki Koji Shotengai or something like that. Um, it's, it's, uh, it, it's inside the, uh, the entertainment area and it's a, sh a long Shotengai consisting, consisting of six different parts. And I walked around the area yesterday, I thought maybe that might be interesting to film for you guys if the weather didn't cooperate you know because there's a roof it's an arcade it's a covered arcade shopping area but to be honest with you i didn't find it that interesting there weren't that many interesting shops it's just generic shops that you can find anywhere and so i decided against filming that the the Shotengai in Nagoya, Osu, is interesting to me. That, that place is funky and it's bohemian and there's a nice mix of shops there. Interesting shops as well as uh, practical shops. But this one in Hokkaido was a little bit boring. I have a hard time crossing diagonally here because it's a longer distance to the other side. And like I said, I hate wa walking across the street area because it's so slippery. Okay. Home baking school. Japan home baking school. I don't know how long this video is going to be. But um, what I want to do is, after we get to the uh, Sapporo train station, I want to uh, go down, downstairs. And I want to walk with you guys um, underground and end up where we started. So you can see how vast the underground area is. Okay, I'm just a little bit lost. Not really, I kind of know where I am. Yeah, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been a while since I did these. Oh my gosh, I'm lost videos. Don't worry, it's 
see, I see the trains there. So I know I'm going in the right direction. I just don't know if I should go right or left here. So I think the best thing to do is just keep walking this way towards the trains, the, the, the railway tracks that I see. And then, that way I know exactly where I am. A lot of hotels in this area. Mitsui Garden Hotel on this corner here. One thing I, I, I noticed is that I don't see any uh, of the big chain hotels in Sapporo. Like there are no Hiltons or Sheratons or Hyatts in this city. Ah, there's a station. There, I see it now. But yeah, this is the one and only video that I'm making here in Sapporo just because I didn't have enough time to explore because I was terrified of walking around, you know, on ice. So I hope this one turns out to be an okay video. I really never know how the video is going to turn out until, you know, I, uh, I, I look at the videos later, you know. Alright guys, you see the big structure on my left. That is Sapporo Station. This is where you arrive when you come by Shinkansen. It's a huge complex, huge, huge uh, station with lots and lots of shopping and restaurants. It's actually pretty nice. Yeah, this is the uh, Sapporo Station area. Okay, survived that crossing. I actually haven't explored the Sapporo station area yet. It was so busy when we arrived though. We arrived on Sunday. It was like so busy. Satoshi and I felt like it was busier than a train station in Tokyo, for example. So, that's the center of the station and there's a complex called Stellar Place. On the right of the station, that's Esta. That's another complex. They have a electronic store there, a big camera. They have a loft, Uniqlo, GU. Um, they have a Nitori, they have Namco Arcade. That top building there is a JR. I think that's the there's a hotel there run by JR, Japan Railway. And then there is Daimori department store also attached to the station. Slowly and carefully. Okay. Survived. <laughs> Oh, that's the Daimori department store. Huge department store connected to the station. Here we are guys. Welcome to Sapporo Station. Ah, oh, so happy with the blue skies. Makes me so happy. Whew. Also, it's not that cold today. It's only minus 4 degrees compared to like minus seven there is a difference it feels warmer today this is the entrance to Apia which is another shopping complex underground shopping complex okay we're going to enter the station and then we'll go downstairs I'm not going to really show you guys the entire station is too big We're gonna go 
immediately down to the basement floor so I can show you guys the underground city and then we'll walk back to where we started it should be quicker because we're just gonna go in a straight line yeah very easy to make detours underground but I get lost because it's too big it's too big and, and I haven't explored the underground area yet so sorry about that okay so the, we're inside the station this is one of the shopping complexes here so you see it's very bustling there are more people inside and underground I think compared to outside because I feel like people are uh, uh, avoiding the cold weather I see it's quite busy okay so let's go underground so this is where you can buy your icky bin uh, you, can, you can you can well you can pretty much buy anything here there's everything here in this station like seriously yeah oh here you can find a lot of artwork here as well look this is all the different artwork you can find that's one of the artwork there this is where you can get the subway okay let's go down let's see and here we are in the underground city of Hokkaido Sapporo there I said it again of course you can go that way there are more shops there but no we want to go back to where we started that's the entrance to stellar place center which is full of shops and restaurants lockers here yeah bad memories of lockers looking for lockers Satoshi couldn't find any lockers more shops there yeah he couldn't find any open lockers and he was so annoyed <laughs> Satoshi gets annoyed quite quickly so I have to tell him to calm down and I have to give him a hug because I don't want his blood pressure rising. See all the shops? So many shops where you can literally just spend your entire day here. Like really that's not even an exaggeration. Um let's see. Am I going in the right way? The right direction? I think I just go straight down here oh no yeah yeah, yeah okay yeah I'm, I'm fine I think <laughs> am I going in the right direction this is the subway line uh, yeah okay yeah yeah this is correct, this is correct. I remember. We'll see how correct I am. If we get to where we started. Yeah, I remember this area here. This is a nice seating area here. Where you can just sit and chill if you want. That's some um, this famous anime maybe. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we'll walk this way. So this underground corridor, you're gonna see it basically just gonna walk straight. 
without turning right or left. It, it, it's so vast. It's so long, like seriously. But this is, but this is so convenient. It's so convenient. And once you learn the, the address system in Sapporo, I think it's easy to get around. Because uh, everything is numbered and it's in a grid design. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I'm going in the right direction for Odori and Susukino Station. So we started out in the Susukino Station area. And there are exits everywhere. So say you wanted to um, get out in this area, just go out there. And because Hokkaido, well, Sapporo has a very long winter, you have some nice outdoor seating uh, dining areas here. Like that's McDonald's there, and there's some outdoor seating here. There's another restaurant here that serves Ochazuke. It's a dining area here. We got a cafe here, Pronto, with outside dining as well. So I think that's nice. You have another shopping complex there called Miredo. And you see these numbers here, there's big numbers, like number two. This tells you uh, the number of the exit. So all you have to do is remember what number your exit is and look for that big number. And that's where you would exit. Akarenga Terrace is on my right side. We pass by this area above ground. This is very near the, the former government office building. And I hear there's some nice restaurants in here. And there's another shopping complex on my left. Shitatte Sapporo. And you also have some like small stalls. like this, run by independent people. So this kind of looks like a, like a, what is this? Not a flea market, but like an arts and crafts thing on both sides of the street. Not street, underground corridor. There's another nice, uh, chill area here with tables and chairs laid out spaced apart of course because you know we're still in the you know what this is gate 5 and this is the address north 2 west 3 so on the top you'll see the address that's north 2 west 3 gate 6 over there. Now, some of you, I, I noticed a lot of people um, misunderstand what, you know, how the you know what is being handled here, but we don't have mass mandates here. Not to bring that up, but I did want to point that out because someone wrote in a comment that uh, we have mass mandates here, but we don't have any mass mandates. It's just something that, that's requested by the government and everyone just adheres to the rules. It's as simple as that. Nothing more, nothing less. So yeah, just had to put that out there because there seems to be some confusion. And uh, the other thing I wanna point out yeah, no one died of wearing a mask here, so no one got sick or died of 
because of wearing a mask, okay? Just have to say that as well. Anyway, we should almost be there by gate number 10 and 9. North 1, West 3. North 1, West 4 is on my right. So you see how, like, this is like a street underneath the real street above. We have a museum on the right side, History of Sapporo. And I just want to show you, it's not just this street here. Like I mentioned, I'm just going to stay, you know, go on this, just going straight, straight. But if you turn right, there's another long corridor going down there. But I'll get lost. So I'm just staying on this street here. You can find restrooms everywhere, so don't worry. They're clean. They're modern. Here's another subway station, Odori subway station. So if we walk to the next subway station, this is also so where you can catch the streetcar. The streetcar doesn't stop at Sapporo station. As you can see, I'm kind of, uh, I don't really know what to talk about here because everything is very unfamiliar to me. Here's another complex here called Bisse. A little flower shop here. This is telling you what you can find in this building. There's a nice cafe on that side. I think I'm almost there. Here's another like flea shop thingy happening. Okay, we've arrived at Old Odi subway station. Here's the subway station. Okay, so this is where the clock tower was. Remember the clock tower? This is clock tower. You get off here at exit number six. Hmm. If you go left here, there's a huge shopping complex here called Aurora Town. It starts here. So this is the beginning of another gigantic uh, underground city yeah I, I, I'll explore that later I haven't been there yet it's just so big this whole area is just it's huge ah okay this is where Sapporo TV tower is so you know what? we're gonna get off here is it 14 to 30 14 to 37 what does that mean I can choose which exit to get off? I guess so. All right, I'll get off exit number 14, I think. See, this keeps going way, way down. I'm gonna do some exploring today for sure. All right, let's, uh, let's go outside because I'm, it's, it's very easy for me to get lost. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Ah, yes, 
we made it. Oh my gosh, I didn't get lost. It really shouldn't be that difficult. But you know, I'm prone to getting lost. So it's always a possibility for me. Sorry, there was an area of ice that I had to walk over. So I had to focus. Um, let's see. I'm trying to figure out which way is which. But anyway, that is the Sapporo Tower there. So we're going to walk inside the, the park area and then I think that's where I will end the video. Whoa! See, it's always so slippery for me when I cross the street. I wish there was a way they could make it less slippery. Ah, here we are. Ah, ah, we've come back. We've come back using the underground passage. I made it. Here we are, Marui Imai Department Store. The department store I pointed out at the beginning of the video. And here we are again. Right in front of the Sapporo Tower. Ah, we made it back. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, I made a video in Sapporo. I'm so happy. I, like I said, I really wasn't sure if I was going to be able to, you know, because of the weather, the dangerous, slippery streets. But yeah, this is great. I'm so happy. I was able to show you a little bit of Sapporo. You know, I'm going to come back, I think, during um, either spring or summer and explore the city, get to know the city a little bit more. And um, hopefully I can show you more of Sapporo. Yeah. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I do hope you enjoyed the Hokkaido videos. This is the last one for the time being. Uh, you know, I, I have a lot of videos on this channel of places I've been to. So if you missed any of them, please go back and watch them. I re I, I, for example, the Nagoya videos. I personally enjoyed making the Nagoya videos so I would love it if you guys go and watch those uh, let's see where else, where else did I go um, my Nagasaki videos my Sasebo video my Fukuoka video yeah Hiroshima video just go back and watch them if you've missed any of them yeah hopefully by the end of this year 2022 I can have a whole bunch of travel videos on this channel that you guys can refer back to for when you are able to visit Japan again. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end this video with some footage of a nighttime Sapporo for you to enjoy. Continue to stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody!